What's going on, Ice House? Cool. So I don't really consider myself a car guy. Never really have. Like whenever someone asks me what my dream car is, I just say a 2008 Toyota Corolla. Cause, cause I'm already living my dream, baby. <laughs> but uh, recently, I'm starting to change my mind a little bit. Recently, I think I want to get a Lincoln. Only because of the Matthew McConaughey commercials. That's the only reason. I love those commercials so much. I actually thought of the next one they could do. Uh, so I'll pitch it to you now. It's Matthew McConaughey driving his Lincoln. Blank stare. He pulls over. The camera zooms out. You see an Uber sticker on his windshield. <laughs> Passenger gets in the car. They start driving. Halfway through the drive, he just looks over and goes, do you drive a Lincoln? And the passenger says, no, no, I don't. And then Matthew McConaughey just goes, I'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> and that's it. And I think Lincolns will start flying off the lot after that. Um, what else? I, uh, here's a rough transition. I just got a new iPhone. Uh, and uh, it's great, you know. It has a lot of nice updates. But there's still a problem that I have with it that I've had with every single iPhone that there ever was. It's when you hand someone your phone to show them a photo, and then they start swiping through all your photos. It's like, how rude can you be? I'm trusting you with my phone, man. It's like, hey, check out this picture of my dog. And that's my dick, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need that back from you. That actually happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was talking to this girl, and I'm already not good when it comes to um, talking with the ladies, can you tell? Um, <laughs> and so, uh, so I'm like, you know what I'll do? I'll show her a picture of my dog. Everybody loves dogs, it'd be a great conversation starter. So I, I show her uh, this picture, and before I can drop a dumb line like, uh, yeah, you know, she's a rescue, but honestly, she's the one that rescued me, you know? <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's showing me on my own phone going, whose dick is this? <laughs> so now I'm totally caught off guard, I panic. I'm just like, oh, um, that's my friend's dick <laughs> <laughs> on my phone, right? <laughs> she, she doesn't even question it. It doesn't even skip a beat. She just goes, does your friend know he has a little dick? <laughs> like, I, uh, I don't think he knew that. Uh, I think he thought it was quite average, actually. <laughs> She's like, you should tell him. I'm like, yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Be sure to hurt his feelings. And another problem I have with technology, it's, uh, it's, it's actually more social media, is with Facebook. Because it's been around so long, they started doing Facebook memories. You guys have that? Where it'll show you what you posted on this day, however many years ago. I hate it, because I'll look at it and it'll be like, oh, your post from six years ago. Like my status, and I'll give you a TBH, to be honest. Or I'll rate you one to 10, and then it'll have no likes. Like, <laughs> Thanks a lot, Facebook, for reminding me how much of a loser I was in high school. <laughs> it's, also, uh, it's also pretty cringy for me because, um, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I used to be a rapper. Um, <laughs> I did, I used to be a rapper. And uh, so I used, to, I used to write my lyrics as statuses because I was like, oh, these are gold, you know? I better, better document these so no one else tries to take them. Like the other day I was looking through my memories and I saw a status that just said, I'm so quick that I'm trouble. I move in and out on the double, double. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? In fact, I was like, this is so clever, man. I better write, this is up there with real G's moving silent like lasagna, right? Like this is clever shit I'm thinking of. I better document this. And, uh, and my rap name was Sugar B, by the way. I should tell you that. Sh thank you, Sugar, because my rhymes are sweet like sugar. And B, because my last name's Broyles. And that's as far as that went creatively. And there were so many people at my high school who were rappers that one day we all got together and asked the administration if we could put on a showcase of our rapping talent to the whole school. Uh, and um, so I'll do my rap for you that I did. Um, but first, I used to really like that movie Eight Mile. And you know that scene in the beginning when he's getting warmed up in the bathroom? 
I used to do that, like, so I'd feel cool. And I still try to do that with comedy, but it's not really the same. Like, with rap, you could kind of get into it a little bit, you know, just kind of. <laughs> could you tell I wasn't going to be a good rapper? Just, hey. <laughs> Uh, but with comedy, it's a little different because you, you don't really have the, the flow of things. You just kind of stand there like. So it's not really the same. But um, So I'll do my rap for you that I did in front of most of my entire high school. Uh, so here we go. So go ahead and put that on a loop in your head, and I'll do this a cappella. I can't do both at the same time. So this is it. <clears throat> Yo, what up, world? My name is Sugar B. Let me tell you all a little something about me. My rhymes are so trance-like, they'll put you in hypnosis. Plus, my chain's so big, it'll give you scoliosis. <laughs> and my rhymes are so endless, never run out of material. People say life's a game, I say it's a delicious cereal. But I like Cheerios best of all. That's why I have a really low cholesterol. And when it comes to the ladies, I ain't no saint. I fucked Mona Lisa, cause I go hard in the motherfucking paint. That's when I was kicked off, because apparently it's frowned upon to say you had sex with a Renaissance painting. Um, before I go, I'll tell you the day Sugar Bee died. Um, yeah, we had a, a career day at our school, and so our teacher handed out these forms. It just said, when I grow up, I want to be blank. I was like, easy, rapper, turn that shit in. One of the few rappers to turn in their schoolwork, by the way. And, uh, so everything was going great till the end of the day. My teacher's like, hey, Luke, can I see you for a second? I'm like, first of all, it's Sugar B, but what can I do for you? <laughs> she just shows me the paper. She's like, did you write this? I'm all proud. I'm like, hell yeah, I wrote it. Like, you want to buy the mixtape or something? She just says, so when you grow up, you want to be a raper? I was like, oh, whoa, no. Oh my God, no. I went to public high school. I didn't know how to spell. Oh. And that really just tainted the Sugar B name because I'd be walking down the hallways and people would be like, there goes Sugar B, the raper. I'd be like, guys. Like, I'm not even a raper. Like, I didn't even get into Stanford. Uh, and that's my time. I'm Luke Royal, Sugar B. Thank you.